right, let's continue with our figure here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to kind of take these legs down just a minute. Get these shoes down. Get all this down just a little bit. All right. All right, so we have our, uh, we want to bring our arms back, of course. Um, there are two, we want to bring them down, is what I'm trying to say. We'll bring them down and back. Now let's go ahead and draw our hand here. And let's come over here and go ahead and draw our hand here. Let's just go ahead and... and Establish our hands. <coughs> okay. And let's go ahead and draw this here. Just a little more room for the hand, a bit bigger room for it. Okay, so, and let's go ahead and come back with the arm the way we want it. Sort of shape our arm where we can kind of now let me come up here. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and bring this down here. It's kind of down here. And let's go ahead and cut our shoe lines. Separate our shoes from our overalls. He's going to have overalls. So. Just like the carpenter, because a painter would have overalls. So. Or painting, painting overalls is what we call. Have them over his clothes and
Okay. Okay, we got his shoes kind of... And the stomach is still just a little bit too big. Let's come down just a little bit. I want him to have a stomach, but I don't want him to have that big of a stomach. Okay, so like that. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I have <coughs> asthma so bad at times. I just... <coughs> really struggle with it and I have acid reflux also really bad or actually I have LPR which is a silent form of GERD I have to watch myself okay all right And we're just sort of shaping it just a little bit like that. Okay, now let's go to the head. And we're going to put a little hat on him. Like a little painter's hat on him. All right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just come around here. Come around here, come around here, to the other side. <coughs> and I'm going to, I really apologize for my coughing. And I'm just coming around the hat, the bottom of the hat. And I'm... Now when you do this, you want to be real careful not to put too much pressure because it can, taking off just a little bit like that can slip very easily and cut you. It can. So we want to be careful of that, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and bring this up underneath here. We get plenty of room for the hat. And of course, this here. As you see, Be very careful when you do this. Um, don't put too much pressure on it. Now we're going to come back here and we're going to make our brim up into this area. So we're going to take and we're going to cut right here and then we're going to cut. Be careful on this right here because it's going against the grain. You want to be careful. Okay. Just like that. See from the side here. Okay, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring that that brim down, of course.
Okay, see that? And we're going to bring that brim down, thin that brim up. We want to be careful not putting too much pressure on it. Let's continue to remove wood up underneath here. See the, see the hat that he has? I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. Oh, well, that hat's going to stick quite a bit over his um, face. Of course, to make the nose, we just keep going back and forth, shaping up beneath here with the nose. And we come up beneath this hat a little bit and we take a little bit off because the brim of a hat is very, very small. Okay, so like that. Now, we want to take a little bit more off. <clears throat> and we want to come here and we want to cut our little nose in here. Okay, and then we want to come in here and just cut up a little bit up underneath that to raise that, uh, get that nose to stand out. Same thing here, we'll shape the nose when we get it kind of straighten that it's hard to see this I know it is it's because it's such a small thing but we're just shaping that nose there if you see from the side now this is where we begin to shape our face as we come over here and we now we're gonna cut down on this hat you know it uh, hats don't fit like that we're going to cut down, but we're going to get our face shaped first. We're going to come over here, start shaping our face, bringing our face. There we go. And we're going to come over here and cut the lines for our ears. Uh, making these deeper cuts here. And um, as we 
did with the other one. Come up underneath that head a little bit. Notice how <coughs> I used the point of my um, I used the point of my knife a lot. So let me go ahead and make an ear in here. And then cut and bring the hair down a little bit too. The ear. And let me come over here and do the same thing. Make me a little ear and cut it, cut an outline of it, and come back and remove the hair from the ears, or the back side of the ears, as we say. Voila. We got our ears. We're going to cut this right here to. <coughs> and then I'm going to come in here very lightly with the tip of my knife and cut my little C into my ear. There we go. Bring that down. Thin that up in there. Okay. And the same thing is to be done here. I know it's hard to see. It really is. I've, I've done this with bigger figures and um, have shown you how I make my ears as far as flat plane is concerned. go now let's go ahead and bring this hair down back here and then we can bring our hat you know because uh, the hat really then we can start bringing our hat down on the sides maybe in the front just a little bit where it fits closer to the head Okay, and I think I need to kind of come forward with this too, and thin this up just a little. This is now. Let's get our nose shaped here. Just doing it on both sides, and let's go ahead and cut our. Let me just go ahead and cut this down in here, bring that nose out just a little bit more. And then we'll cut our age lines and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down in here. And cut this down in here. Give it a little bit more of a shape. And cut my little age lines right here. You can't see this, of course, because of the way I have to turn the knife that way to do it because I cannot, you know, I don't want to. Flat plane carving is a, is a matter of cuts. A lot of people have just told me, they said, I just can't get it. But it's straight cuts to create what you want uh, in your figure. In other words, I'm going to remove a little bit of this, just a little bit. And I'm going to run the little mouth across there.
because we're going to put a little cigar in his mouth. Okay. All right, now see, you see he's, he's starting to really look, get, have a personality to him. I'm going to come forward with this just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's go to the clothes a little bit. And let's go ahead and put the little thing that comes down on the overalls. Let's cut here and cut here and make this cut across here. And let's remove some of that wood from the inside of that. And from right here. As you can see, I do just about everything with a knife. I can do this with a V-tool. But I try to do it with a knife if I possibly can. I really do. Okay, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit in here. I just want to cut just a little bit of... of uh, between them legs right there just a just a bit so I can separate that kind of in there okay and I want to just kind of do this then I'm gonna come back here and, and do a little another little cut here and another little cut here just sort of give it a we do and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna do a little cut here and another little cut here okay all right now remember with the coveralls the coveralls they're gonna come around they're gonna come around and come back here okay so we're going to cut where the arm is and we're going to bring the inside of the top of the arm inside the coveralls okay just like that Okay, let's bring those down a little bit. Where they kind of meet with the. Okay. And let's do the same thing here. Coveralls will come across here, in which we bring the arms down. So the coverall will be in here. And then we take and bring this down to meet with where the coveralls meet. Okay. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and put a patch if we want to on his coveralls. Or I tell you what we'll do. Let's put a, let's put one of those, um, not a patch, but a um, um, where it's torn, in other words. And you know you cut that from the inside. As you can see, you cut from the inside of this. And it's small, but you just put a little pressure on it. And then you come back and you use the tip of the knife like this and you cut the inside out and do each 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 side individually be very careful 
where it looks like it has a hole in his uh, coveralls. And all right, there we go. It looks like he has a hole in his coveralls. And then you paint the inside of that the same color as the arms or the shirt of the arms, in other words. All right, well, as far as I'm concerned, he is done. We'll, uh, we'll put the little cigar in his mouth later. And um, um, so our, our next thing we're going to do is we're going to let me bring this back just a little bit where the shoe sticks out a little bit further. Uh, next, we're going to do is we're going to do the little um, bucket and the little um, paintbrush. And we'll do that. But anyway, just kind of on that a little bit. All right. Okay, well, there's our little piece right there, and then next we'll be doing, we'll be working on the little paintbrush, and we'll be working on the, um, wait a minute, let's do this. Uh, one more thing, one more thing, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and make this, this here, where the coat coveralls come like this, okay? And I'm going to cut that right in there. And remove that in there and do the same there okay and let's let's nah this, this is gonna interrupt with my little thing here on my coveralls so um, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it on that side I'm just gonna let that go and we'll let it let it uh, swing like that so all right doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> all right okay and make sure the hands are done and of course we won't we're gonna have to drill holes in the hands for the bucket and for the paintbrush all right God bless now and we'll come back and show you how to do the rest